You can laugh and criticize Michael Jackson if you want to. Woody Allen molested and married his stepdaughter. This is the sociology of hip hop, a Georgetown University course that uses rapper Jay Z as a lens to look at race, gender, sexuality, and economic inequality. Professor Michael Eric Dyson teaches the course. He's known for his critically acclaimed books and sometimes his controversial views on social inequality. Dyson says this is more than a listening session. The coursework is based on readings from academic authors and noted journalists. There are midterms and a final exam. Dyson says he doesn't focus solely on Jay Z, who was born Sean Carter in a New York housing project. Instead, the lectures revolve around the life story of an impoverished young man turned businessman and philanthropist who used to call himself a pimp. A lot of these contradictions are in the broader culture. Uh, consumerism, misogyny. Misogyny is at the heart of so many religious traditions, and yet we study them. I have a PhD in religion from Princeton. Jay Z's rhymes are about street hustling, sex, money, and alcohol, alongside critiques of politics, police, and the struggles of poverty. Students say they're learning to think more critically about creativity and class. So you don't hear about. A lot of other English topics, uh, Shakespeare, you know, th those things don't come across every day, so you don't really think about them until you're in the classroom. But when you're in this class, Jay-Z class, you turn on the radio, you hear a Jay-Z song, oh, let me pay more attention because in the classes I had today. But not everyone's a fan. Editorials from the Georgetown student newspaper to major media call the course poppycock and semi-ridiculous. Critics argue that Jay-Z's lyrics and life story are unworthy of intellectual study at a Jesuit institution that costs students $40,000 a year. You can criticize Jay-Z all you want to, but he is an outstanding example of the rags-to-riches story. Chris Mars is a sociologist who says courses like this communicate to young people in a way they understand. As a sociologist, maybe we should think about incorporating other scholars, other hip-hop artists beyond just Jay-Z. But um, if we think about just using Jay-Z's lyrics to understand um, social inequality, I think it becomes an interesting discussion. So what happens and, uh, now is that they're moving away from consumers to critical thinkers about hip hop. And that's what one of the cultural relevance of having a course about Jay-Z. And you see where he's come from and how he's worked to get up there and beat the system, which is something that you know nowadays is almost impossible. And so it offers the ability to relate to those people and kind of see how people are living today and how we don't see that if you're not there witnessing it. Dyson says he welcomes conversation about the course, but he's surprised by the criticism. His goal is for students to see life in America through Jay-Z's eyes. Well, I want them to see, first of all, that, you know, young black guys who grow up in poverty can have some interesting things to say about America. Number two, that their rhetorical and creative genius rivals the best of what we know in Western culture, whether it's Homer or Melville, whether it's Toni Morrison or Langston Hughes, whether it's Scorsese or Francis Ford Coppola. <laughs> so, Jay-Z was not available for an interview while on tour, but Dyson says they're friends and Jay-Z supports the class. Nia Hawkins, Associated Press. After, this is no lie. As the show is proceeding, they come to arrest Gucci Mane.